Hi darlings, this time I am reviewing The Corrupted Kingdom by Jesse Galena. It is a sci-fi fantasy horror story. It's pretty short and I received an advanced copy of this to review, so here's my review. The ebook comes out October 27th on Amazon and if you have Kindle Unlimited you can read it for free the first 90 days, so ta-da! The story is dark and creepy and it deals with this abandoned kingdom where your nightmares manifest themselves in a physical presence. So it's inhabited entirely by monsters from people's nightmares. The Corrupted Kingdom has this like magical ability to get into your imagination and figure out what it is that you're afraid of most in the whole world and give it physical form so it can attack you and kill you. In theory, you can kill your nightmare also this way. I personally would not bet on my chances of killing my nightmare. So the story really delves into our nightmares, what we're afraid of, and what it is that we want also. So for instance, it talks about a one of the instances it gives is being afraid of spiders. So this place isn't just going to sick a giant spider on you or a horde of spiders on you. It's going to figure out what it is about the spider that you're most afraid of. Whether it's the creeping sensation of something with many legs crawling across your skin, or its pincher is biting you and infecting you with venom that will slowly kill you, that's what's gonna get, that's what's gonna come after you, not necessarily a spider. Kingdom is pretty prominent and visible from the surrounding areas. It has a lot of mountains in it and these this architecture that is like a castle with a lot of twisting spires and is perpetually surrounded by clouds. So it has this pretty ominous look to it, but you can see it from all around. Like, yeah, and people come from pretty far to explore this kingdom and to test their nightmares, I guess. So because this place can manifest your thoughts, it's this place where anything is possible. There's rumored to be a king's treasure within the walls, um, cures for diseases that are previously incurable, a way to bring people back from the dead, designs for architecture that will withstand the fiercest storm or even a dragon attack. So there are some, you know, desirable aspects to this. And there's also the whole part of it being an adventure to go in there and being able to brag about facing your deepest nightmare and escaping. But, you know, that only works if you actually manage to escape the Cryptic Kingdom. The interesting part for me was how each of the different characters who go into the kingdom, what it is that they want and what it is that they're afraid of, and how those two things manifest within this place, and how they, their, and their struggles to overcome their fears and actually physically fight them. The characters in the story, we don't really get to see any of them that deeply. We don't get to know them that well, so I didn't feel a strong attachment to any of the characters. The Corrupted Kingdom itself is probably my favorite character in this story and like I am most interested in this place than any of the people that travel through it or any of the specific beasts in it. It was interesting, I liked reading it, but I'm not madly in love with it enough that I need to go reread it over and over again. There isn't enough in there to pull me back to it, I guess. The thoughts about like what is my worst nightmare and how would it manifest, I think it's going to stick with me, but it's not something that I need to go back to the story to explore. So I gave it about a 4 out of 5 stars. It's well written, it's entertaining. So there's my review for The Corrupted Kingdom by Jesse Galena. Let me know in the comments below what your worst nightmare is and what's the thing that you would want the most. Is there anything that you want badly enough that it would make you go into this kingdom and face your worst nightmare? So. I love you guys. Peace out and keep reading. Bye.